Uh, Immo field, that's a new one. Anyway, the no, ball comes no, it in is and not gets a the new bubble. One. No, it is not. I'm not. Okay, we're not going to get into this. <laughs> I've had an argument with Josh. I've had an argument with Bren, Johnny, <laughs> everybody. Apparently well, let's be friends. Let's not argue. Okay, well, Tuba's not making any friends right now. Sparkle Lefty got instantly uh, taken down, and uh, Justice, not bad start whatsoever, in fact. They uh, managed to cut the point first. Oh, good yeah, it's great. I was able to take down soon very early, and that means the rest of us. Down as well. It's going to be almost impossible. Tube is setting up in the background. Beautiful reflect on the sleep there. And, uh, Fielder takes a little bit of a nap Jeez. and gets instantly killed. Our Eternal still want to run this, though. I mean, they've got Rally up now. They're willing to maybe make this work with the blade. Sparkle's going to go all the way into the back line, kill off Stitch. Arkadu will also end up falling down. That looked almost unwinnable for the Eternal, but they managed to turn it back completely. I thought the rally was um, a bit ambitious from FD God, but they made it work. Hunpen as well is going to have a Graviton search for them. I knew. Then this actually gets nanoed. So this is basically going to be wasted. Only a little bit of extra damage down. There's the grab. There's the EMP. <laughs> Goodbye, Justice. <laughs> Five man grab, six man EMP. That'll be it, done and dusted. Rage is trying to disrupt the back line, but Janu taking out support is going to be bad news. Bears. Tuba as well, unleashing the blade. I mean, you might as well. You've only got 10% ready to go. Two kills for him. Sparkle comes back with the blade of his own, though. Janu and Stitch end up going down, but Tudu finishes him off. Washington Justice in a very good position to take this first stage. And he's going to be able to come back with the window and Stitch with the high noon as well. FD God gets booped off the point, but still manages to contest for OT, but ends up getting taken out and now soon chased off the point as well. Yeah, maybe a little bit of an early touch from FD God. I don't think he needed to announce his presence as early as he did. EMP will come off and get three, but soon gives his life for it. Is it going to matter, really? I mean, they're Nano in the Doomfist. Sparkle's jumping straight into the bat line. Immortality Field goes down to save the rest of the supports. Stitch finishes off Hanbin, and this should just be it now. The Paris Eternal are going to get shoved off of the point. I was excited there, but just almost plays out the same way. Very small chokes, very uh, low ceilings, too. No open air. Raw ends up going down. The spam, really, from uh, <laughs> the Eternal is just kind of ridiculous. Plus, soon is melting shields. At record breaking pace too because he's just holding left click and sim with the turret teleport bombs basically. Sparkle doesn't end up going down to Tuba. This is a beautiful angle to actually hold with the Immortality Field and the window, but Tuba's there just to take care of Fielder, almost instantly killing him off after the Immortality Field went down. Tuba is now going to pay attention to the front line, earn himself a blade. Might not need to use it here whatsoever as the, the tank line from the Eternal were taking absolute battering. However, decides to pull the blade regardless as that beat came through from the Paris Eternal. He's going to find one, gets booped away. Got to find a couple of people at least right in the back line. Oh, the shadow is perfect to line up with the tire. Ben Best finds the splatter kill onto Aim God. Raw saves himself luckily with the grappling hook, but the damage really here is... Uh, Already been done. Justice, yeah, they're gonna die. It's uh, it's a bit over now. In his back pocket, but Paris Eternal managed to find the flip in the Chaos too. Now Justice already using that immortality field. They're up to two, but now to try and get something done. Fielder in the back line manages to find the kill. The 200 ping Warlord is gonna be able to take down Tuba, but it doesn't matter because he actually gets taken out by Aim God to use the mirror, use the window in reverse. So a late window for the Justice was all that they really needed. Janu finishes off uh, FD God, and now they re-control the point. Paris Eternal, that looks so good to start off with. They take care of the one ultimate ticking down. And there are too many people from Eternal alive and well on the point. Full HP bars as well. Trickling members from the Justice getting back on. Stitch managed to take care of soon, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. The healers from the Paris Eternal are alive. They're going to be uh, just not being able to get taken down whatsoever. Ark even uses the rally. That has to push you to the back line. If you don't take care of a support, if you are the Justice, you are going to lose. Trickling members now, and this should just be it. No way they're going to be able to come back from this one. They boop them all off, and that will be it. They tie Oasis up. One of that on the university. Members back on the Winston. The high ground, though, is going to be so valuable here to the Justice. They have double shield, and they have Stitch on the Cree. Immortality Field's been burned fairly early, and, uh, well, if you're in a winning situation, if you're in a winning fight there, or a winning situation even, it's just use the Immortality Field. I mean, your, your team is going to be more than safe just with the heal. Not only do you aid your team in just getting a whole ton of ult charge for the next fight, you're actually going to be able to reset your ult pretty quickly as well. I mean, the preceding fight, you're going to get a fair bit of ult charge. I mean, he's up to, what, 30% already? Ben Best is going to find two, though. I'll uh, stop on my little tangent as Janu also ends up going down. Supercharge is going to get committed as well. Wow, so just Justice throwing in so much into this fight. Tuba also uses Blade. This overcommittal. Hack comes in. A hack onto AMD, uh, Aim God as well. 
so we can't use the immortality field. The EMP's gonna come out too. Rattle through six people. And Paris Eternal, they all hit Q at once. Apart from FD God and Hanbin, who have the Graviton Surge and the Rally available now. That was a perfect setup from soon. Hacking the emo field away from as long as you don't use them foolishly. I wouldn't mind a window here just because why not? But there's a grab. Very early grab, yeah, but he's dead. Focus the drone first, and that'll be but That's grab and rally. Dusted. That's yeah. that's everything Paris had. And because as well. Mongo coming out too. Sparkle takes care of it. No nano needed for apparently. There we go. Eventually at the end, he manages to cut down Raw. He's going after the front line now as well. That EMP just once again. Perfectly placed from soon. This should just be it. Stitch might not be able to get back in time. 95% right. for Passion Hex. Well, the ball got knocked back. Here's going to be the flux from Washington. Try to get back into it. And they get two. Sparkle, Filter, dead. Janu with the perfect setup. They have the tools to do it with. Hanbin takes out the grab as well. Where's the damage? You haven't really got any follow up whatsoever. Stitch is going to have to cut down Ben Best 2 on the Tracer. And now FD got trying to stall for some additional. Actually upset them too. We stuck, spoke about this not only five minutes ago, Hex, how Justice are here to upset the Eternal. FD God, really low HP. He's going to be able to come back to the point That's in it. time. But Raw slams them both down. Two kills and one pile driver. And now the slow slogging and whittling at the health bars. The Justice forcing them all away. The Eternal are wiped clean off the face of Oasis. And Justice are going to be able to claim the first map in the series. A surprising result, I think, from the Justice. They've only got a stitch for the damage at this point, and they are trying to rotate onto the high ground. The Immortality Field's going to go low, and uh, DPS having the high ground. Yeah, that's a good sign for the Eternal. They're going to be able to clear the rest of the Justice off. I mean, as soon as you lose two, but there, you, you're not going to be able to get much stuff done whatsoever, so... By about 50%, here comes the Blade. Uh, he's going in. They drag Janu out from the Immortality Field LOS. They managed to kill him off pretty easily. Not bad at all, yeah. The um, old generation from Sparkle is a little bit ridiculous. Of course, this isn't live patch, you've got to remember. So the right-click damage, um, George Shark damage, sorry, and the uh, right-click ultimates, but soon gets himself a nice three-piece here. Ooh. Halt into anything. I mean, people are like, what's the best thing to combo Ooh. with Halt? Oh, there you go, the window. I love the window, man. Oh, the flux, the blade. Oh, Tuber is so sad right now. Tuber is so sad. He's going to deflect the blade, but it doesn't matter because he has no HP. Sparkle could easily go for the dash reset. Oh, he misses completely. Oh, run, Sparkle, run. The spawn, the spawn <laughs> position is so close. Like, Tuba is so sad currently. Right, I'll explain why Tuba is so Pretty sad. Pretty low in the 1v1, duel against Tuba and Stitch. Armor for Tuba as he kills off soon. He's on the high ground now, but can he get anything else done? He's going also low with a Fielder managing to keep himself alive and the rest of the team. Tuba ends up falling now. Is the Paris Eternal in such a good spot to hold first on this point? With FD God opening, unleashing the window, now Washington just really can't do anything. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to get all too much done with it, but the, the tanks are going to get kept alive. Immortality Field's going to get used as well. Sparkle has another blade. Immo Field goes down, and so does Janu. And now they're all clumped up in that mega health back room with not a person on site on the payload. This is the Paris. It's a little bit less than that. As soon as on Sombra, which is quite surprising, to be honest. Oh, dear. Well, uh oh. Stitch and him got already dead. That's not good. At least they can get another fight, like I said, though. <laughs> Sees the brig in the train car. It's like, nope, I'll go up top. Yeah, that's quite tough. This fight is very over, but yeah, this is it. Two fights. That's what abilities, and then hopefully soon can pick it up in the back. And they're just waiting for soon to be back in the mix. Who's played? Oh, Immortality Field has already been used by FD God. Sparkle is going to be uh, a little bit of trouble if he goes too deep. He managed to find one kill and dash out, but Janu and Raw end up cleaning up Sparkle and Hanbin. And with Stitch being alive and well in the back line too, as soon as that blade does go out, you're you're betting that Sparkle doesn't really have any dash resets left available to him. So on the high ground on the gas station, so Sparkle took care of him rather easily. Aim God dead. Sparkle now on the other tank. Janu also falls. Filder has been traded and Stitches Bob is at least doing a little bit of something. Tuba's blade's going to have to be absolutely massive though to get anything done. He's found Sparkle, but Sparkle takes the health back away from him and Tuba ends up falling. 
Oh, the melee kill to finish him off. And Paris Eternal now in a good situation to actually just end the map right here, right now. Sparkle takes care of Ark and is now stall picks for the Justice to get back onto the point. They do use the Supercharger, but Hanbin's there to actually take care of it, as well as that Transcendence to keep everybody alive. Sparkle Chris unleashes blade. the blade of his own. The Transcendence of Blade, a deadly combo. One kill, two kill, three kills for Sparkle. And that should be it. Couple of meters remain, and Paris Eternal sink the payload in and tie the series up one apiece. Snowfall's fight was body blocking. They do end up trading as Builder once again ends up going down, but this is a perfect start for the Eternal now, as the Washington Justice have only got a stitch to rely on the damage. Soon as Spark will end up taking down Roar and Ark, as No Smite and Hanbin were just sitting in the front. And no, Hanbin almost earned himself a Graviton Surge in that engagement. It's a one trick, but Hanbin's been doing it on so many good heroes. Six man hack! What an EMP! And Sparkle's got the blade as well to boot. That window disappears, of course, when it does get <laughs> hacked. And Sparkle, he don't need no blade. He can just finish it up. Just using the right clicks. Tuba went in to, for the kind of counter dive to try and level the playing field, but it was just a race there of health bars. But However, they're coming they do back. Manage to get back on with one meter remaining. The blade, the nano, right on top of the heads of the justice. The mech goes down. Baby Diva falls. Raw's going to go down too. The deflect did a little bit of work there for Tuba, but the rest of the team are going to just scurry back to this last point now as uh, Paris capped the second. To think you're going to win that fight when it just seems Ooh. impossible. Here comes a grab. That's a beautiful bubble too. Unfortunately, it didn't actually do all too much. The healing was, of course, blocked, but the Immortality feel perfectly placed from aim, got outside of the bubble to make sure the LOS wasn't broken on Stitch. That was a really nice stuff. Uh, we got the blade, although he's not going to use it just yet. Not there. And there we didn't go. Get yeah, it. Raw has gone golden or red. And now the Immortality field up on the high ground. Even Bob being thrown in, but Spark is just going to get these dash resets in this small building. No Smite pushing them up the stairs, basically hand delivering Spark with the kills. There is going to be one ult coming out the doors for the, uh, a miracle on ice, really, for him to do anything here. There's going to be Stitch on the payload to solve some extra time, but Tuber ends up coming in with a double kill of his own. EMP lands on four, but it doesn't manage to get Janu. And now they're going to be. All on the payload, and yeah, Eternal are just going to leave the payload and just go for it once again. EMP just not really finding what they needed. Uh, the flashbang was. Uh, you can, and they got to be. They got to be very quick, though. Yeah, I remember flashbang at some point was uh, nerfed the stun duration, but I can't remember if that was on uh, experimental. There's been a lot of changes recently. Um, on experimental, so I'm not sure if that one actually went yeah. through in the end. I'll have to quickly go check that one up after. With the EMP as well, so she's going to use the high noon near the spawn door and catch Fielder as well. That's a big EMP though on the back of it too. Stitch and Tuba managed to keep alive for the time being, but Sparkle and Harbin are going to clean them up. Justice still have a chance to be in this fight as they trickle out of their spawn doors, but now everybody getting knocked away with that primal rage. No smite, the hero of the hour. Knocking Roar at the top on the little grey, the darker grey bit there. There's a good nade spot. It only affected Aim God and they end up using Immortality Build, but Sitch ends up going down and oh, oh, Roar is, uh, yeah, he's in Antarctica in comparison yeah, to the rest on a of different his team. Map. And maybe he got knocked in, maybe flailed, but it just seemed like uh, didn't get the memo that the rest of his team was getting cleaved down. And just as I mentioned, no smite with his very first cleave on the entrance got up to about 40%. And here we are after a single. Look at this. The nade oh, already landed. Yeah, you can see kind of uh, all the way at the back. You can yeah, I don't splash know it off how the roof. Roar, I don't know how Roar ended up over there. I don't know. Ooh. Nice aiming. Just with his positioning. Oh, Nana Blade. Oh, no. Sparkle, what is this? Oh, they didn't stand a chance. That's an easy. Oh, just a. Uh, delete someone like that. The Nano is, oh, the uh, Deadeye is going to get pushed down to low ground. Tuba is going to still use the blade in the high. A lot of the Eternal now are kind of split up. Perfect situation for Tuba to be in. FD God ends up falling over and Fielder as well. Had to, the Immortality Field was there to save his life. And now the Nano Blade is available for reels. There it is. Sparkle straight to the back. Aim God was the target and he was uh, able to get cut down rather quickly. Ark scurries back to spawn. Doesn't quite make it. Sparkle finishes him off with another 3k. 4k in fact as Tuba tried to escape to. How they're going to get back into this. Is Sparkle back there with them? Because Nano Blade's coming up. Yeah, Sparkle's there. Perfect window Nano right in the door. Blade again. Oh, he gets clubbed straight on the head. Oh, I was ready and waiting for him. That was a nano as well, mind you. So that damage resistance been absolutely nothing to the justice. Leaving. He is leaving. He is left. Sparkle EMP, yoinks. though, coming in rather soon. Immortality field on top of the grab. That will do. Thank you very much. Sparkle take care of it. And the team does the rest of the work. 
very quick and clean team fight. I mean, the Graviton Surge there, you, you might as well use it up with the EMP again. The Blade, there's the EMP right in front of Ark's face, and Sparkle cleans up yet again, soon stealing the 6k, but it don't matter. Sparkle adding another couple of back to the point, mind you. High Noon and Blade available. Tuba Pops, the Stitch ends up going down to Sparkle of all people. You don't normally see the 1v1s won by the Doom Fist unless you're someone like Spark who almost has the Meteor Strike. The payload is actually moving backwards, so Justice have to touch, otherwise they can't even cause OT. They're going to be able to take out Sparkle eventually, but I think it's going to be really it. The payload's moving back, they get the touch eventually, but now OT is here with nothing left to bear. Stitch uses the High Noon, takes care of No Spite, but Paris take care of the map. They go 2-1 in. This they do end up getting one tick. Raw's in trouble though. He did dive into the front line of Paris and uh, diving into Ben Best is uh, quite a mean feat, but Stitch is able to clean yeah, on up. That immortality field was actually massive from aim, uh, aim God, keeping everybody alive. That took a long time to go down as well. <laughs> At least what I say to myself. There's the blade, shadow on the ground. Doesn't quite hit anybody. I think four to five from Arissa there stopped uh, a lot of that going through, but it doesn't matter because Sparkle and Harmon are doing the rest. Ben Best just swinging through the shield. I think that's one of the most satisfying things is the Reinhardt just swinging on an Orisa and a, <laughs> and a Sigma as well. Shield maybe got rocked or something. Not entirely sure what happened. We'll have to go back into the replay. However, with, uh, yeah, you're off thing going down. Yeah, you, you're going to want to reset. There's actually no way you win this one. Sparkle just Here's waves. the question, though. Do you, stay on, do you stay on these damage dealers, though? Yes. I mean, check marks are, you know, alluring. Sparkle is uh, the bait. The bait and the TP hex. They've done it. There's the wall. There's the slightly diagonal wall. Blongo's going to come out, but Tuba! Oh, soon didn't stand a chance. Yep, the rest of them are going to go down. And now, yeah, you, I think you switch soon at this point. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think you keep him on the sim, but you keep Sparkle. 100%. He's got Blizzard. Blizzard actually forced people off the edge of that pincer maneuver. Not too kind if you're a Sigma. Stitch has that bob. He even uses that coach gun to get away from absolutely nothing. Blade's going to come in, and that'll be a couple of dashes and a couple of kills for Tuba. Make that four, in fact. And that's a team kill as well for the just self healing. Isn't too great. Soon's on the high ground. He uses that bob onto the point, and now Eternal are sitting exactly where they want to be. One tick on the board with a second maybe coming up. If they push Justice off, they eventually get it with Sparkle now earning the blade. He's dashing high in the sky. He spots one. Tuba dies. And a rock will help him secure another one. FD God takes care of Stitch. Now it's the ball on the point to stall. The rest of Eternal managed to make it on board in time. 19 seconds as well to spare. It's going to be up top, either top left or maybe even on uh, the, uh, the middle archway. Okay. okay. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, at least they do trade it. We're soon taking out Tuba, but that was uh, an aggressive hold from Hanbin. We've seen this a lot with the with the off tank holding onto the right hand side here. As you look at it, beautiful halt, dynamite, and then Sparkle resetting with the dash. I was lucky though. I mean, it could have been they needed those kills the opposite way round. Otherwise, the sport advantage would have been so favorable for the Justice well. with Tuba coming back. As I say that, soon an FE God and Fielder fall almost exactly the same time, and now Sparkle's just fighting for his life. But yeah, without any healers and without any health, he's not going to last a year actually coming into the league because he was so hyped up. A lot of element missing alumni, of course, on the Spar on the uh, Paris lineup. Soon ends up going down, Raw to follow. <laughs> that bob onto the high cool. ground after the coach guns, pretty nice, but it is going to get taken down almost instantly by Bembest and the rest of the team who are uh, able to just focus it down with the commit the rally, but so they're going to open a flux. Yeah, and Blongo as well, the Amortality Field dies, and Sparkle! Oh my word, I mean we see it a lot, okay, but three kills, one slash, oh that's what you want to see in a high level. He goes straight back into the sport, he's going to get rocked and has to retreat onto the point. A deflect does a whole lot of work, but who's doing a little bit more on the side. Ark didn't see him coming and neither did the rest of the team. <laughs> Tuba dashed the back line, tried to find the kill onto Soon, but the Dynamite finished him off. And Sparkle was even there to help him as well. They hold for the playing this a little bit more cautiously than they did last time around. Immortality Field doing his job, but Sparkle doing a little bit more again. Do we even need to commentate over this anymore, Hex? No. You know he pulls that blade, he's going to get at least a 3k. Might finish it up with a fourth, but now Field steals it. 1v1 again, can he win it out for a third time to brush the dash of the mega health pack? But all meanwhile, Soon's on the high ground with Raw right in his sights. Sparkle goes in, he got stunned. It don't matter. There's the flux kill. Goodbye, Ugg. Goodbye, Justice. The transcendent. Dennis on the point to finish it out as well. Not even a tick on the last point. Justice goes down. Paris Eternal find the series three to one. <laughs>